Hey, it's Yuka. In today's video, we'll be talking about AI in the Apple ecosystem. We all know that Apple Intelligence was announced at WWDC, but there are so many products and features that I use and maybe you do too on a daily basis that are actually powered by AI. Most of the time, we don't really think of them as AI features. And one of the reasons might be because they haven't been using the term AI to talk about it. They might have been calling them machine learning, neural networks, computational, advanced algorithms, dynamic adjustments, etc., etc. But these actually can be classified as AI. Before we get into the details, I want to quickly go over the overview of all the terminology that we hear a lot but may not have a clear understanding of. The word AI has become such a buzzword in the last few years that has brought both positive and negative connotations, especially around generative AI art because it has been used to plagiarize artists or create graphics that spread misinformation. Although I think those issues are very important topics, the term AI originally is just a overarching broad term for a field in science. Within the broad term of AI, there is machine learning, which is a technique of training algorithms on a large amount of data so they can learn patterns and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to perform specific tasks. Deep learning is a special type of machine learning inspired by the structure and function of the human brain. It uses neural networks with many layers hence the deep terminology, to learn from large amount of data. Generative AI is a type of AI that focuses on creating new content. This can include generating text, images, music, or even videos. The key idea is that generative AI models learn from existing data and use that knowledge to produce new original outputs. And large language models or LLMs are a type of generative AI that are specifically designed for understanding and generating human language. When people generally think of AI, they think of something that used text and image data, but AI and machine learning can be done with lots of different data sets. A lot of the AI features that we'll be looking into today is using data from sensors, gyroscopes, mics, etc. Let's start with AirPods. Specifically, AirPods Pro and AirPods Max has great active noise cancellation, and that uses AI to understand the noise and cancel it in real time. Active noise cancellation works by generating anti-noise signals that the AirPods effectively cancel out unwanted sounds. In order to do this, the AI algorithms continuously analyze the audio captured by the external microphones to identify noise patterns. This analysis is performed in real time, meaning the AirPods are consistently monitoring and adjusting to the surrounding environment. Transparency mode is one of my favorite features on the AirPods Pro, which allows certain external sounds to pass through while reducing unwanted sounds. It also utilizes AI to ensure that important sounds like voices or alarms are heard clearly without removing the AirPods or switching modes manually. Moving on to the Apple Watch. Apple Watch is a great example of how AI and personal data can revolutionize personal health and fitness. It provides ECG analysis, fall detection, and tracks a wide range of physical activities. Taking fall detection as an example, Apple Watch is equipped with gyroscope and an accelerometer that continuously monitor the user's movements. These sensors can detect sudden changes in motion and orientation that are characteristics of a fall. The machine learning models extract key features from the sensor data, such as the speed and trajectory of the movement, the impact force, and the final position of the user. These features help the model to differentiate between a fall and other activities that might involve rapid movements, like breakdancing, for example. Next up is the iPad and Apple Pencil. One of my favorite features on the iPad and what makes it super unique is Scribble. I can handwrite text and it gets converted to text. Believe it or not, this also uses AI. Scribble is essentially using handwriting recognition models that was trained on different handwriting styles. And as I write with the Apple Pencil, Scribble analyzes each stroke in real time. 
the AI models process the input stroke by stroke, predicting the intended characters and words as the writing progresses. Last but not least, iPhone has had AI features before Apple intelligence became a thing. One of the things that come to mind for me is the camera and computational photography. Features such as smart HDR, night mode, and deep fusion utilizes AI to analyze scenes and optimize photos in real time. Face ID is also an AI driven feature. It uses a true depth camera system, which includes an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, and a dot projector to create a detailed 3D map of the user's face. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it provided a new perspective into AI and some of the features that we use every day in the Apple ecosystem. The features were never advertised or explained by using the term AI, but that's what I like about them. They're about the user experience and how it makes their lives easier and not about how cool the technology behind it is. Let me know what your favorite Apple ecosystem feature is that uses AI and please follow for more videos about tech and creativity. See you in the next video. Bye.